everyone. Welcome to It's in the Bag Crochet with Darla. I want to welcome you all here today. Um, if you're new here, um, I hope that you will decide to stick around. And if you're not new here, I do appreciate you for coming back and sticking with me. So I have a few things in the works for uh, the new year. Um, the first thing that I'd like to talk about is a collaboration I'm doing with three other ladies and it's called Things We're Making Thursday. And um, the ladies that I'm working with on this are Heather from Strings and Threads, Jess from J Hook Magic, and Jenna from Jenna Stitches. And what we've done is we've chosen a free pattern from the Yarnspirations free patterns. And we're all going to work on that. And then on Thursdays, we're going to make a video and show our progress and what we've done. And so um, that's one thing that I'll be working on. Now, if you're interested in joining us, we would love you to join us on this project. It's going to be for the whole year. And each month we're going to choose um, a new pattern to work on. They will always be a free pattern. Uh, they may or may not be from Yarn Inspirations, but they will be a free pattern. Uh, this month we're working on a blanket for Valentine's Day, um, but it's not going to be a blanket every month. Um, we're going to choose different things that can be done within a month's time. And, you know, like I said, we're going to just show our progress as we go on Thursdays. So it would be really nice if you could join in with us if you have a channel. If you don't have a channel and you want to um, join in with us on this project, um, I will share the pattern if possible. If not, you can go over to Strings and Threads. Uh, she does have um, a link to the pattern. I'm not really good at getting those links put in my description box quite yet, but I will try if I can't do it, go check out Heather at Strings and Threads. But, um, and then if you're not a subscriber and you want to do it, then just send us your photos and we can share the photos on our video. So it'd be really um, exciting to have you join in. Um, this is one of the colors that we'll be using, or that I'm using. Um, some of us are using the colors that are in listed in the pattern, and some of us aren't. So, and we're, you know, um, I can't remember which one of us is kind of doing it. They're putting their own little kick on it, and and that's what's exciting about this is because we may just decide to you know put our own little kick on it and um change things up and you know and that's okay that's what's so fun about um the yarny community is that we just take it for what it is and then this light pink so those are the colors it will also have a white and um kind of a heart red in it but i, I didn't bring those out to show you um, another thing I'd like to do is, um, choose a name for you guys. What do you want me to call you? Um, if you can just, um, think about that and put a suggestion in the description or in the comment section below, I'll look those over and, um, depending on how it works out, I may have you choose one. I'll put, you know. I'll tell you what the options are and let you choose or um, I may just you know run it by my husband Mr. A and um, see what he thinks but I need to know what to call you guys you're all my friends and family we know that but you know like some people call them I don't know I don't want to make any uh, names there but um, you guys figure out what you want to be called and you know like I said please leave your suggestion in the comment section 
Also, if I remember, I want to um, save the wrappers off of my yarn after I'm finished with the complete skein. I want to save those and um, have you guess how many I have by the end of the year and then I'll have a little prize for the person that comes closest to the right amount. Um, so um, I'll try to I'll try to save them and show them as I'm done with them so you can maybe kind of make a note of it and keep track of it. Um, hopefully this will go the way I planned. But, you know, it's just the beginning of the year and already we've lost our dog. So, uh, I don't know what the year's going to bring. You know, we never do. So, um, these are just some ideas I have running around in my head. So, and, you know, I just want to make the channel a little bit fun, a little bit different. Um, and if you have any ideas... Um, pl please make comment about, you know, what you'd like to see. I'm not set up to do tutorials and I'm not confident enough to do tutorials. But, you know, if there's other things that you suggest, you know, that might be fun for us. Um, you know, I might do a mystery giveaway. I'm getting close to 350 subscribers and I may do a mystery giveaway so um i encourage you to watch my videos from beginning to end because you know i might just decide to um do a giveaway at the end you know you don't know so and i try not to make my videos very long because i know there's so many of us that you want to watch just like me there's so many um yarnies out there that i want to watch that I don't get time in my day to watch everybody I want to watch. But, you know, I try to, I try to do my ones I'm loyal to and, and then check out a few that, um, that are kind of new. Um, speaking of someone that's kind of new, um, I want to give her a shout out. It's Christine at Christine is crocheting. She's only got 50-something subscribers, and I don't know why. I don't know if I've shouted her out before or not. But she she's really talented, and, you know, she speaks kind of soft. But, you know, she, she has things going on on her channel. So please go check her out. I'll put her in the description box. Um... But she's just a sweet lady, and, um, you know, we need to support these new channels and just check them out. You know, that's all I'm asking you to do. Check her out. If she's for you, then subscribe, stick around, and watch what she has. I think she pretty much puts out a video every day. I've seen her quite a bit lately. So, um, you know, that would be a good place to, to get some new content. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, today's been a little rough uh, with losing our, our sweet dog Buster. My husband had a hard time this morning because he usually, what he does is he prepares um, lunch for me because I'm disabled and I'm not able to get up and get my own food. So he prepares food for me for the day while he's at work and puts it in a bag. And usually there's, um, and he prepares his lunch too. And so he usually has some kind of meat involved with that. And the Buster used to go in. And he'd hear the the rustle of the bag that the meat's in. And he would go in there. And my husband would, you know, give him a few bites of, of meat. And 
today that didn't happen and it hit him really hard. And so it's, it's rough, you know, but we'll get through it. And, um, you know, his memory will always be in our hearts. We'll never forget about him. Um, he just was so sick that, you know, we had to let him go. And here I am getting teary eyed and it's not going to happen. I'm not going to cry. We still have two cats that bring us joy and, um, we're just going to love on them. We may get a dog down the road, but probably not. Cats are easier for me to take care of because I don't have to get up and let them out. And that's the thing with dogs. You have to potty train them and get up and let them out to go potty and stuff. And I just don't have the ability to do that. So we're probably going to stick with cats. We may later down the road, we may get another uh, cat. Um, since our black cat died, uh, Black Jack, we've been wanting another black cat. So that may happen in the future, but it's going to be a while. Um, we need to mourn Buster for a while and, and just think about him for a while. So I think I've taken up enough of your time today. I do appreciate you, um, sticking around and listening to me. Um, I hope you all have a great day and, um, think that's it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.